What you're gonna watch today is the grand final of a tournament that's running right now, which is Masters of AI 2. Um, I hope T90 has the link to the brackets that he can put in the chat for you guys. Um, I do not have the link to the brackets. However, I, just I have gave handled it to the you. links to your channels. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll grab those. Uh, but yeah, for those watching, if you at any point in time today want to reference their YouTube or Twitch, you can type exclamation mark AI scripters. And I see people are linking your Twitch already. Um, yeah, Masters of AI 2. I can put these brackets in the Twitch chat for those that want yeah, to see this. Please do that. But, so the tournament is already over except for the grand final, which we're going to do today. And yeah. in the, you can see the all the results of the previous games on that sheet that C90 hopefully just linked. And a lot of those games we casted also on stream, and so you can see them on our YouTube channel. So yeah. some of the better games there. And the two AIs that made it all the way through to the grand final are, who would have guessed, Barbarian, the first one, and Illuminati, which coincidentally is my own AI. So yes. <laughs> I gotta cast think... my own baby. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a biased caster here today, guys. No, I'm actually, I'm actually caster. pretty, I'm pre actually pretty unbiased, so unlike some other people. <laughs> but I can, I can I, say I, one thing. I can say Illuminati's is farm placement is better than yours, even though I haven't. What even seen, you can't? I say haven't that, even, man. I haven't even seen you play any games. I haven't even, I've never even watched your stream, but I can still say that confidently. Dude, if you make fun of my farms <laughs> in front of my audience, I'm never gonna hear the end of it. This oh. guy, this guy knows how to. Oh, by the end of the stream, by the end of the stream, your audience is gonna love me more than they love you. <laughs> oh God! Not only are the AIs taking over, but all that is taking over. <laughs> all right, so um, let's do this, man. I have the the spectator thing up here. Um, Okay, that means I need. I believe the game host address is still the same, right? No, my AI changes every, and uh, my IP changes every day. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna give okay. give you my IP. Give me just a sec. Oh, you Can also I also have your your uh, your credit card number while um, we're at it. Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna put that in Discord. All right, cool. Thanks. Um, you by the way, you already made a mistake when introducing it. Because you said it's gonna be one v one games. It's not one v one games. Most of these are four v four, actually. Really? Yeah. I thought it was one v one. Okay. Well, um, so, so it's four v four, but it's multiple barbarians and multiple yeah. Illuminati. Yeah. So four. So the, so the um, it's a best of five, as T ninety already said. The first game is a four v four on Arabia with random sieves. The second game also four v four on Arabia. This time with the switched sieves from game one. The third game is a 3v3 on Woodland, which is a map that's pretty similar to Arabia. The fourth game is a 4v4 on Acropolis. And the fifth one, the last one, a 4v4 on Accessible Forest. Okay. All right. And the, the, well. last, the last three ones are with, um, on the last three games, the AIs have the choice to pick uh, their civilizations. But um, the creators of the AIs would, uh, would have had to... Um, pick the civilizations before the start of the tournament. This tournament has been going on for a couple of months. And yep, yep. the Max actually chose not to pick any civilizations. So Barbarian will play random civs in those matches as well, in those games. So just to establish dominance, I assume. Yeah, Max Max says he doesn't care about civs. His AI is just too good. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so I think we should just get it started here. Before we do, though, I have a lot of Germans watching the stream, and they say, this guy sounds German. To prove that you're German, can you say T90's farms are, are amazing in German? I would never say that. <laughs> I think they're not going to believe you're German unless you say that, man. Hmm. The problem is, I don't even know what what farms are called in German in the game. What if I, <laughs> I've never played it. I've, it's been fucking 20 years since I've played the game in German. This guy isn't German. He must be British. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, it's fine. I'm I play the game around. in English. I don't know. <laughs> All right, just joking around. All right, um, do you want to just 14? Ah, Felder, natürlich. T90, seine Felder sind beschissen. I think he said something bad about my farms, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, something really bad. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. This is, there's a joke here, but I'm not getting it. This is the problem. All right, let's let's do this. That's let's get into the game. So I'm gonna set, so the way we do these games, um, they're played on good old AOC with user patch 1.5, obviously the newest user patch. And the way we play these AI games is I'm just gonna set up a single player game, which T90 will then spectate. 
Yes. Uh, once we load up the game, since a lot of the viewers here on Twitch and a lot of the viewers here on YouTube are not even familiar with user patch, I'm going to do an intro and just discuss why user patch is, is better a little bit and um, how these AIs are probably two of the best that are available today. Sure okay. Thing. Yeah. Just give, tell me when and I'll jump into the game. No, just do it right now. I'm still setting up the game. Okay. T90 farms are wonderful. Did he say that? They said mm -hmm. your grammar was off. Well, guys, um, later on, so we're doing this best of five. Later on, we're going to do some more AI games. So even if Barbarian, who is favored here, Barbarian's like the viper of AIs. Even if Barbarian wins within a few games, then we will have more games throughout the day today. So I believe I've set it up everything correctly and we can get into the game if you're ready. Um, yes, I'm ready. Also, Scripter is out there. I saw Scripter in my Twitch Oh, chat. no, no. Don't give him credit, man. He doesn't want it. Well, I I wanted to just say Scripter could answer questions for people. I know that he might want that. <laughs> Maybe he so, wants that. <laughs> Scripter deserves a lot of credit for what he, he does. He does. Users. But um, if people have questions, they're asking me questions like I know anything about this. Well, I really don't know much. If there are any questions, so, you can... Well, if they're about user patch, then they are, should be directed to Scripter. That's, uh, that's true. Yeah. But if there are questions about AI scripting, then you could just relay them to me and maybe I can do my best to answer them. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. And maybe after each game, we can have a, a couple minutes to answer questions. That way we're not too, I guess, confused with the game and the questions at the same time. Sure, yeah, that's good. So we can focus on the game while the game's ongoing. Yep. Oh, by the way, is that is that noisy notification gonna pop up during the games? Um. So here's the problem. My my alerts are silent, and they're silent for everything except one hundred dollar plus donations. Uh -huh. And I was not intentional. I know it seems like a good business plan, but it was not intentional. For some reason, this dumb baby shark thing won't go silent. I haven't had the time to address that yet. So on a like being completely serious, if there's anyone crazy enough out there who wants to contribute that much, please wait for in between games, please. <laughs> okay. uh, that way we can cast the games, give you guys that good entertainment, and if you want to break my eardrums, then wow. try and do it in between I've, games. I've never but, seen anyone turn down one hundred dollars, one hundred dollars like that. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I'm about production quality, man. I mean, yeah, money's yeah, great, yeah. but. I want I want this to be good for the audience. There's going to be a lot of popular videos on YouTube with this. So, alrighty then. So now we can get into the game if you're ready. All right, I'm ready, man. Let's do this. So first game, as I already said, four v four on Arabia between Barbarian and Illuminati. Let's go. Oh, you know what I might not have done? What? <laughs> I might not have added this as a scene. Uh, to OBS. OBS? I'm gonna just get... <laughs> hold on. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, oh, it's working. We're fine, it's working? man. We're it's fine. on the stream. Yeah, All right. But... Yeah. Um. Some things are misformatted a little bit because I normally have the mini map in the the center. Mm, yeah. Um. Huh. You know, what? I'm just gonna remove the overlay. Can we pause it real quick? Yeah. Sure. Is Scripter out there? Is Scripter on your stream? He probably is. Yeah. He's out there somewhere. He's always there. Scripter, is it possible for me to get the minimap to the center when we're doing AI games? If yeah, that's possible, that I think would you format everything. You're going to need to reinstall the user patch and then select. Oh, no, the, thank then, you. No, that, that's pretty easy. You're just going to click. I can walk you through it. <laughs> well, what do you think, Twitch Jack? Can we just deal with it? I can remove. I mean, it's not the end of the world to remove some of this stuff. I think I can just turn off the, the chat. Yeah, this looks good, honestly. Now that yeah. you, even with the chat, the, the chat's still there. Yeah, let me see if I can... Uh... What well, you just had a couple of <laughs> seconds ago. Wow. Well, <laughs> well um, no, just get, I get rid just of the it. Just get rid of the dark stuff. Yeah, the chat is still going to be there. I just, I just, I'll just remove some of this stuff. It's right. We got this, guys. We really need the AIs to take control of this stream. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. They're much better than you. I know Twitch chat's going to be angry with me if I if I don't have their chat up. So I'll guess we'll put it there for now. It won't look as professional as normal, but that's as that's as good as it'll get. And then we can start this game. Since you can pause, yeah. give me why don't we take a few minutes to just talk about everything we discussed. 
That way YouTube will hear it and we can start the games. Why all right. Why don't you just put all, all of the intro up on YouTube as well? That would be much easier. Well, problem is it wasn't in game. So it's better to have all of that in game, at least in my opinion, I'm pretty particular. So, mm. all right. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an AI battle, an Age of Empires 2 AI battle. With me, I have Aleph. Aleph is from the AI Scripters team. The AI Scripters team, they're, well, they script AIs. Uh, mm -hmm. This is first game in a best of five. Uh, I'll let Aleph talk about a little bit about the settings, but we have the AI known as the best AI in the game here in the blue, uh, or not in the blue, sorry, there's four of them, but there's Barbarian versus the Illuminati AI, and the Illuminati is actually Aleph's AI. Um, I'll pass it along to Aleph here in a second to explain, but just a few things I should touch on for those that are watching. The format of my overlay and everything's a bit different because we're not loading this through the Vubly platform, we're loading this through user patch, which makes all these amazing AIs possible. And after this whole best of five, we will actually be doing some different games, I think mixing up the AIs and just making it uh, enjoyable for everybody. All right, man. So anything you have to say before we get this game underway? Actually, I just took that time while you were talking and just wrote down all the civilizations of these AIs right here because I'm going to need them yeah. for next game. But yeah, um, what this game right here, this best of five match, is the grand final of the tournament Masters of AI 2. Mm -hmm. um, I hope on YouTube, I'm, also gonna, I'm obviously going to put the, a link to the brackets in the description. I hope you can, can do the same, T90. Yep, yep, that's fine. So, um, this is the grand final um, between Barbarian and Illuminati who have battled their way through the rest of the tournament and have come out as the last two AI standing. And yeah, this is the best of five. Most of them are 4v4 games, one 3v3s in there. The first game will be a 4v4 on Arabia. The second game will also be a 4v4 on Arabia with switched sieves. The first game, this one, these are all random sieves. Now, Barbarian was created by the Max, mm -hmm. who's one of the best players in the world yeah Definitely he's one a of professional game players yeah so it, you guys are good ai scripters but then you have a guy who's actually professional making an ai and coincidentally and, he also made the best ai yeah exactly so we discussed this privately the other day and he said yeah max it's hard to compete with max's ais because he's so good at the game and he not, can implement all these not, crazy not only is he good at the game he also puts so much work into his ai because ai scripting is a lot of work it takes a lot of time investment and yeah. he's he really is dedicated to it and he puts a lot of work into his own ai which is why it is so good well props to him man max is definitely a legend of the game for doing that for people who like ais hell yeah he is uh, should we 14 should we 14 start the game already start the game already Go! All right. I unpause Let's the game. So we so, have in the first team, we have Barbarian in. Where's the flank? That's red in the flank, right? As the Hunts. Yep, yep. I can barely see my minimap colors here. <laughs> in the pocket yeah. for Barbarian in blue, we have the Turks. The other pocket in yellow is going to be Byzantines. And the green flank on the left side is the Franks from Barbarian. On the opposite side, we have Illuminati in purple on the flank as the Britons, in the pocket in teal as the Chinese, gray pocket as the Celts, and the orange flank as the Goths. Definitely some sieves in here I do like for Illuminati, especially Celts in the pocket. Mm. Now, you said with the tournament settings, you chose the sieves for your Not for, for this game. Uh, AI? This game is uh, random sieves. Uh, the, the last three games of this best of five will be uh, pick sieves. And Illuminati okay. has has four sieves pre-picked that will be used in every pick game. And meanwhile, okay. the Max chose not to pick any civilizations for Barbarian, <laughs> instead choosing to let it go with random sieves, even in pick games. Yeah, he just didn't care. So we, are we actually seeing the AIs communicate to each other now? It says, my target is player eight. Are these bots talking these, to each no, other? No, these are not talking to each other. This is just debug chat that's um, really just for the scripters themselves to see what the, okay. AI, is, what the AI is doing at the moment. Just to, to I was I was getting a bit scared because you know, AIs, AIs talking to each other. Hey man, they scary. they AIs they don't need to talk to communicate communicate with each oh, other. Oh, that's even scarier. Yeah, that is scary. <laughs> that's even scarier. Like AIs <laughs> that are the same team can read information about each other just from the game. Oh <laughs> man, I didn't know I was coming out of this being scared. All right, so <laughs> um, do you know 
I'm watching the build of the Barbarian flank here, and the build seems pretty good. Uh, Vorlor was decent. It just the, it just looked very much like a human. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what the big differences would be between Barbarian and Illuminati, or are there just so many it's hard to say? Well, obviously there are a ton of differences yeah. between every single AI and every other AI. I would say yeah, yeah. Um, Barbarian is definitely older. It's more well-rounded. There's is um, and obviously, but but the thing that that's really impressive about Barbarian is because the Max is a pro uh, a pro player himself. He also knows all the little quirks, all the little micro things that that only the best humans even do, like um, block yeah. blocking an enemy ball era with your scout. And those things, he actually he takes the time to put those little things into Barbarian. So Barbarian actually tries to do all the little things that a human would do to play as good as possible. If you if you out there watching this and you have never played Barbarian AI, the Barbarian AI is very good. I would say it's equivalent to around 2K rating on HD uh, when you're playing on hard. And then on hardest, it could possibly be even stronger. Um, just a small story about the Barbarian AI that I have. I was playing the Barbarian AI once, and I had 20 crossbows. Uh, or sorry, no, I had a Maganel versus 20 crossbows. And Barbarian AI split away from the Maganel shot like a pro player would. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I had a castle and the Barbarian AI sent a battering ram against that castle. And not only did he send the battering ram, but it sent a villager to repair the battering ram mm -hmm. as it was beneath the castle. <laughs> it was pretty insane stuff. And uh, yeah, it's a strong AI, man. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. I actually lost my plot. I was going to talk about something. <laughs> I forgot about oh, it. Oh, it's fine. It's right. It's, it's always time. fine. Um, yeah. So Red says sending Drush here. Oh, Red is going to do a Drush. And Blue said, Blue said, scary object found. And I, I don't know what that scary object is. I think he's talking is. about wolves. I think uh, ah, bar barbarian, barbarian, <laughs> is, funny. barbarian is remembering where the wolves are. Like a human player would put a, would put a palisade over where the wolf is to remember <laughs> where it is. That's what Barbarian is doing. <laughs> That's funny. So they see the wolves and they just kind of remember that it's there. Okay. All right. Well, here comes the drush from the red. Now, what's what's barbarian. really what's really um, difficult to do for AIs is micro properly. Barbarian is one of the few AIs that actually has good micro. You see, it's wow. hitting it's hitting the villagers and instantly running back. So Illuminati's villagers are actually going idle from that drush. Other AIs yeah. which just hit those villagers, the villagers will turn around and kill the militiamen. Barbarian has much better micro than that. See, it already killed one villager. Illuminati is actually yeah. making some. <laughs> Luckily, making Militiamen of its own because it wants to go for a minute arm strategy as the Goths. Yeah. Wow. Well, as you said, good micro there from Red. Uh, this is going to be, this is played on fast speed, so this is all going to happen pretty quickly here. I'm curious to see what the metagame will be like because flanks typically go for aggression while pockets will go fast castle in mm -hmm. pro games. Uh, at the moment, it's pretty see, much... I don't have an overlay which tells me what they're doing exactly, but it seems like they might be doing that. Yeah, AI, the AI, AI meta is pretty much based on the human meta. They're okay. much trying to do the same strategies, like the flanks will always go for a flush strategy. Um, for example, in most Illuminati civilizations will go for a standard ranged flush with a mix of skirmishers and archers. Here we see yeah. um, purple adding in some scouts, I believe, because uh, some spearmen, I believe, because green is going for a scout rush, so Illuminati saw, yeah. saw that stable and is adding um, spearmen to counter those um, those uh, scouts from green. On the other side, uh, we see an orange Illuminati is going for a man at arms flush and also going for some skirmishers and now trying to attack red. Red was the one who went for a drush, which we saw, and is now looks to be going for archers. Archers, yeah. So you're right, they definitely are aware of what's going on here and we have all the counters out. So I guess we'll have knights from the pocket. Uh, we have Celts for Illuminati. We have. Chinese, so Chinese, a very good pocket civilization with their camels and their knights. Yeah. On the other side, we have what Byzantines and uh, Turks as pockets, awesome. so they can also be strong pocket civs. And I, I do believe we're probably going to see some camels here because um, if the AI see that the enemy pockets are also making knights, then and if they ha have camels, then they will also mix yeah. in some camels. I think both of these Makes AIs sense. will do this. Great micro from Barbarian. Look at the micro microing away from the spear. Yeah. Green, green has really good uh, micro on it. Um, Barbarian has really good micro. We see that now for the scouts. Uh, scouts are another unit that is extremely hard to control if you don't have the micro in your AI. And that's something that's very hard to script. 
So that's well, uh, where, where other AIs couldn't do a scout rush or a rush because other AIs don't have that micro. Yeah, I as a player recognize how difficult melee micro is. Ranged micro sometimes looks more impressive, yeah, but, but melee micro is very difficult. So the rush strong for Barbarian and the scout rush, cool stuff. Yeah, and green is now hitting the gold miners from purple. The scouts are, uh, the spears are coming and green is immediately retreating, not losing a single <laughs> scout. That is so well done for Barbarian. Oh my god. And now Illuminati, no offense because this is your AI, but Illuminati's all confused, doesn't know where to go, has no gold income really. A great micro from Barbie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you you mentioned before this game started that your AI has better farms than me. So you better believe I'm looking for T90 farms. And yeah, look at Gray. Those are some T90 farms right there. That's equivalent to my farms, man. Yeah, you know why? Because AIs can't place farms over the tree. Or the cut down tree. <laughs> oh man, there's an excuse for it. Oh, I mean, st still better than yours, though. <laughs> All right, fair enough. What's this? What's going on with this TC, by the way? There's like this graphic glitch. Yeah, it's a graphic glitch that's in, in the game. I don't know. I don't know if there's, there's any second, way to fix it. There's a second, a third, and a fourth floor on the, <laughs> yeah. on the TC. But sometimes those uh, graphics can be bugged out in AOC. Fair enough. Well, lots and lots of scouts from green, um, but he has a teal knight on him, so we'll see how he responds to that. He might need some help from his pocket player, I guess, yellow. Where's that knight? It's hard to follow, but ah, uh, I imagine that's how it will play out. Yeah, now, yeah, now it's taken down that knight with the spearman. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, he's just going to kill it. And building a defensive tower as well. It's maybe a bit late for that, but could still be useful. So our overlay does show the populations. You uh, can you can actually press F2 to cycle between different overlays. You can ooh. Fancy, okay. That's a user patch feature. You're telling me user patch also has another feature? Color me surprised, man. Mm -hmm. User <laughs> patches. Where would Age of Empires 2 be without user patch? That's the reason that Boobly's good, guys. That's the reason these AIs are good. And blue, I'm loving the chat. Oh man! Red says, "Enter combat mode." Look at look at look at Orange, man! Look at those that red army in the back of Orange's base. Orange has nothing to defend. Oh. Orange is already getting decimated by that red attack, man. Barbarians, <laughs> Barbarians, Michael is way too strong in this version. Oh no! <laughs> he entered combat mode, man. Look, he's back in combat mode. Jeez! You do not want Red to get into combat mode. Look at look at those archers and skirmishers grouped up, running running back and forth, taking one shot at a time. <laughs> that Michael, man, like a human would do it. <laughs> That is amazing well, for Bobby. He saw the TC, was close, and then he ran away, and now he's entering combat mode again. This is amazing <laughs> micro. <laughs> it really is. Oh, poor Orange. Poor Illuminati. At least purple is still alright. It has a lot of units there to defend, but it's not yet in Castle Age. Meanwhile, red is already going up to Castle Age, the first flank, yeah. I believe. I can't wait to look at the achievements afterwards with the KD. Uh, red is... Oh, you can so on point with this micro. This is so impressive how quickly these units move. This is like watching Finland play. This is like watching Max and Velez and Zupi play. It's you crazy. You don't even have to uh, wait for the end of the game. It's in the overlay. There's a kill, a kill loss. Yeah, column. yeah. It says it doesn't show the losses for whatever reason for me. So I can see at least forty-two kills and thirteen for only thirteen losses. Wow. And I think Orange is going to be dead. <laughs> yeah, Orange is already very decimated. It's down to. 30 population. Oh, geez. Look at yellow pushing out now with all these knights. Oh, it's going right for the pocket. pocket. And teal doesn't have anything to defend there because teal sent its knights over to orange. And now teal is uh, mostly focusing on its boom. It didn't even make that much military. Uh, but Barbarian oh, is retreat back. it's retreating again for whatever reason. Okay. Well, I have a question for you. So mm -hmm. I obviously have never made an AI. There's no T90 bot. But if I were to make an AI, I would make damn sure that if my AI was ever defeated, there would be a funny message. Yeah. Just like, you know, the standard Age of Empires 2 AIs. Do any of these AIs say stuff when they get defeated? Some of them do. I, I don't, uh, I mean, sure, Illuminati and Barbarian do say stuff, but they are more standard. If you want to more see funnier messages, then you should go to AIs like Subjugator, for example. So, so some of the um, not quite top AIs um, that are a bit more casual. Um, have, yeah. have more fun messages, like Subjugator, okay. for example. Well, I remember as Barbarian just looking so strong here. Um, no surprise, I guess. I remember 
playing the barbarian and I fully walled my base mm. and he called me a waller. And I <laughs> four ones and he called oh. me a lamer. <laughs> now, now yellow is in, it was in teal space. It did some damage it looks like, but it was fended off by, by a garrison TC and some camels from teal. Okay. But yeah, orange yeah, I mean, is destroyed. Orange seems destroyed and I think gray is now going to feel and teal is going to feel oh, it. Oh, blue is also now in gray space. Yeah, and gray also has already lost all of its knights. Yeah, yeah, Illuminati man, is not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Barbarian so, so strong. It's just way better than other AIs. <laughs> and, and yeah, Barbarian Yellow says, does anyone want sling? And then immediately another AI says, I do. So they're going to start slinging now. <laughs> that is very That's likely. Crazy. You can also, also see slung resources on the overlay. Um... There have been no resources sent yet, so they're not slinging. Okay. Maybe that's just a bit of talking. Or maybe that's just... Yeah, maybe. Maybe um, if, if Barbarian is teamed up with a human player, it could have a human respond to that, and the Barbarian would sling the human, for example. Ah, uh, maybe that's the case. Maybe that's why that is built That's in probably the intended use of that. Yo, we have the counterattack from Illuminati player six. Oh wait, he's he's second guessing himself because of that yellow knight. <laughs> he sends his whole army back because of that one yellow knight. Which one? Oh boy. Teal? Uh uh purple on the purple? left. Oh he, uh, no, he's just He ran back because of a knight, but I think he's thinking about going forward at least. Nah, it doesn't look like it. he's just shuffling his army back and forth between different TCs <laughs> for fun. <laughs> he's not attacking. Why are he not attacking? There we go, he's got it. He's got it. Yeah, um, I think he's um, he doesn't have enough military. He does he doesn't think he can win against a uh, barbarian because barbarian has about the same number of military units or even more. Yeah, it's a confidence thing. It's like mm -hmm. if you're a lower level team playing against Team Secret, you know, it's a it's a confidence thing. Maybe who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's well. They started with orange. Orange is. Basically dead. Yeah, and now Gray is taking feudal. Gray is taking heavy damage. When everyone else is yep. above 100 population, Gray is down to below 80 already. Yeah. And now the and... battering rams are arriving from red, taking down Gray's first TC. That is quick for barbarian. Yeah, man. It seems like just a matter of time now. So I wanted to mention this earlier. It seems like you put them on hard, right? Yes. That is the strongest AIs can be without any cheating, correct? Yes. So hard is the standard setting you should always use for AIs. Always, never use anything else. As far as I, I'm concerned, because hard okay. is hard is the normal setting for AIs. Anything below hard, and the AIs just get arbitrary, um, yeah, arbitrary handicaps to them. Like uh, okay. units tra take longer to train and stuff like that, and it actually messes up the build order of AIs. Um, so, and if it's on hard, I think a lot of people in my Twitch chat are going to be upset. Because they they might play on different levels of AIs. <laughs> well, that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's their problem. The AI doesn't care. <laughs> well, it's good info. It's good info. Yeah. I didn't know that it affected the the training speed of the units and all that. Yeah. Uh, wow! Look at this army from green now, all over purple. Oh. And yellow's gonna join in. It's just a huge flood of barbarian army all around the yeah, map. Yeah, those this green knights. Great. Purple cannot defend against this. I don't believe this. I don't believe that purple can defend. And Teal already withdrew its army. <laughs> Teal wanted nothing to do with that. Oh man, that's so BM. Oh, yeah, <laughs> letting your away. He says, Screw he's you. He's letting his flank die. <laughs> oh man. He oh, but his... he's also under attack though. Because yeah. Grey and Orange already died. Yeah, man. Teal's top score. You need to keep top score so when you lose, you can say, blame your teammates yeah, and say exactly. they're the best. That's how it goes, right? Oh. Look at this. Yellow even has monks here converting. Teal's freaking out. He doesn't know what to do. Oh. oh my god. I'm so sad that, it, that I didn't have really? the time to update my AI because I have a lot of things planned and in, in work actually, a lot of features for the next version of Illuminati that will make it a lot stronger. But okay. it's going to take some time to actually script all of the things that I want to get done and then test it. It's a lot of time investment AI scripting. Yeah, well, I think that the reason I wanted to do this is not just because my audience wanted to see it, but I think AI scripting is kind of a thankless job. It's something yeah. that you do and you don't get a lot of credit for. So, you know, someone in my position can obviously give, make people aware that people do this. And then hopefully when people are more interested, both in like, watching you cast or script, then maybe you'll be more excited to do it and can justify it more. Yeah, in the future, mo right? yeah, you're exactly right. Most of the time we just stay, our community is just, we just stay among ourselves and only the other AI scripters really know about all the AIs and watch all the tournaments. 
Yep. We don't have many fans, to be honest. But maybe this <laughs> well, is, maybe it's gonna change today. Yeah, yeah. Just remember me when you're big time, man. Mm -hmm, yeah. Remember me. <laughs> uh, well, how's Gray doing? Gray, does he have a TC? Um, no TC. Oh, that's... oh, wait, he does. I'm sorry. The hotkeys. I have your hotkeys, I think. So <laughs> it's okay. Uh, he does have a TC. TC. Yeah, uh, Orange is down to, as far as I can see, four population. Uh -huh. and... Illuminati just resigned. Uh, two of them did. Yeah. Two of them did. The others and, should do Oh, Illuminati, Teal Illuminati with the G in the chat. The yeah. salty. <laughs> That's Illuminati for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. The other guys were like critical bug. And Teal says G. Just G. Won't even give the GG. <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't deserve the GG. <laughs> That's amazing. Purple still believes he can do this. He's asking for resources. And, and it also, he also taps out. That's funny, man. Well... GG. So that was a pretty quick game. Yeah, dominant, um, really dominant by Barbarian. Yeah, I, I kind of expected this, knowing a lot less than you do about AIs. I know that Barbarian seems to be the absolute best in the game. Uh, however, I think despite this being a curb stomp, I think it was still fun for myself to cast and just see how the AIs interact, and also for the viewers to watch here. Yeah, it's definitely that's a, a, always a problem with Barbarian. Barbarian is. is it plays in a league of its own, really. It's so far above all of the other AIs that most of its games are one-sided. It's not that entertaining to watch as it would be, for example, a game between Tribal and Promi or Promi and Illuminati or Tribal and Illuminati. Those AIs against each other make for, for much more even and much more interesting games. But yeah, Barbarian, well, Barbarian um, is just too good. <laughs> well, we are going to see more Barbarian versus Illuminati. Mm -hmm. And then you said that after that today, we can do some different AI matches. We can do so... some different AI matches from a different tournament, actually. Oh, another tournament. Okay, cool. So let's look at the achievements here. Let, let me make sure. It... Okay, the format's good on my, my screen. Uh, pretty solid kill-death ratio for the Barbarian players. 262 kills for blue. 44 units lost, 150 to 75 for red, uh, 212 to 120 for green. And then yellow, he didn't really do much in comparison to the others, but still he had a 3 to 1 kill death ratio. That was dominant. Wait, yellow was slinging? This AI oh, is such a tryhard. It was slinging in the end, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he not only slung, but he slung 17,000 yeah, resources. Yeah, that's a lot to green. Man. Wow. Oh, that's why, okay. that's why Green's army was so strong in the end. Yeah, that makes sense. So Green wanted resources from Yellow, uh -huh. and Yellow slung him 17,000. Man, they're really taking this first game seriously. They don't they don't want to lose a match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Barbarian is <laughs> Barbarian rarely loses any, uh, loses any games. It actually lost one in this tournament, uh, one game, not a match, just a game to Daedric, I believe. I don't think I watched, wow. I don't think I watched that game, but I don't know how that happened. Maybe just... Unlucky <laughs> happens. Yeah, maybe there was a maybe it was the map. Yeah, de de <laughs> definitely the map. Always blame the map if you lose. At first, first, <laughs> first blame your teammates. If it's a one v one, then you can only blame the map or maybe lag. Lag is always good to blame. Lag, yes, blame lag in an AI battle. That makes sense. Okay, so that's game one. And what is the best of five? What do we have in store for the YouTube audience and Twitch audience in game two, which will be coming up? Another 4v4 in Arabia with the same civs just switch between the teams. So Barbarian is going to have the civilizations that Illuminati just had and vice versa. So Barbarian okay. is going to have this time Chinese, Britons, Celts and Goths. Meanwhile, Illuminati will have the Turks, Huns, the Franks and the Byzantines. Okay, sounds good to me, man. I'm excited for it. You know, one joke before I uh, move out of this game. I don't know. Have you heard of the Hidden Cup, LF? I know you said you don't really watch streams in YouTube too much. Nope, I don't follow the game at all, other than AI. Okay, so most of my audience knows I had a tournament called the Hidden Cup, and we had 12 players um, which were chosen, and then all of those players were given random accounts. And so they were just hidden users and they played the whole oh, tournament. So didn't... And we didn't know who the ah. people were until the end. And Even... the joke was made that we should put Barbarian in. <laughs> and then the audience would be like, that's Viper, that's Viper, that's Dow. You know? <laughs> and then amazing. at the end, I'd say, yeah, that is Barbarian. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That could actually happen. So you, <laughs> even even the, the people streaming the game didn't know who was playing. 
Exactly. Yes. Yeah, oh. so I didn't know either. The only person, the players didn't know who they were playing until after the event, and I didn't know who I was casting. It was a great time. So when when were they revealed? After the tournament was over? After yeah, the final day after the finals. It was great, man, because uh, the the two. This is a spoiler for those who haven't seen it, but the two players who were in the final were not Chinese. But since there were Chinese players in the tournament, they were talking in Chinese in the game room just to try and trick us. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Dude, I have to talk to Max about that. Maybe Max can can put the Barbarian in the Hidden Cup for us and have him troll in Chinese and stuff. Did, did they actually know how to speak Chinese or were they just putting random Chinese characters in the chat? Well, well Dave, <laughs> my co-caster, is Canadian. And uh, one of the players said, hello, you sexy Canadian beast. <laughs> So oh. we kind of we kind of realized that probably was not Vivi or Yo at the time, but uh, yeah, it was just a funny <laughs> thing I wanted to bring up because I know you probably didn't hear about that. No, I did not. That's funny. Okay, so I'm gonna update my scoreboard here. It is. LF, is it okay with you if I uh, speak to my audience for a few minutes before we go to the next game? Sure, just look yourself out. Yeah, cool. I'm going to um, be streaming this as well, guys. So again, just to plug their stream, just to plug their YouTube, you can type exclamation mark AI scripters in the Twitch chat, and that will provide both the links there for you. Um, I'm going to mute my mic for a couple minutes so I can catch up with people, and then we'll go into the next game. Sound good? All right. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I didn't want to thank people for subscribing and and say hello to everybody when he's also running his own show. So just didn't want to be inconsiderate. Nah, I'm not going to listen to tonight's stream. I'm just going to read through my own chat and see if there were any questions that I missed. Yes, Archon is here. What's up, Archon? Long time no see. I hope you're still alive, man. I hope you're still alive. Um, Archon, yes, the thing on your um, with the um, AI scripters forum is still not fixed. I don't know. You're probably still banned there for whatever reason. But you should get on the Discord. You should get on the Discord, man, if you use Discord. Or oh, what happens when the AI is set to hardest? Then it just gets extra resources. Yeah, script already answered that. Who picked the sieves? No, the sieves um, for this one aren't picked. Uh, the first game was random, and the second game is a uh, sieve switch between the teams from the first game. Um, Emerald Fire asks, hey, is all of the AI scripting done in the AOE engine, or are there interfaces to external tools? Well, it's only, no, not even in the, it's not even done in the engine. It's just the scripting itself is just done in a regular text editor. <laughs> yeah, it's really, <laughs> it's not easy stuff to do. Yes, Sips will be picked for game three, game four, and game five. And yeah, script already said all of it, <laughs> answering all my questions for me. Oh, did the Horde participate? Yes, the Horde definitely did participate. But the Horde actually isn't one of the strongest AIs anymore. It's not even a, a one of these four strongest AIs anymore. It's the four strongest AIs right now are Barbarian, Promi, Illuminati, and Tribal. The Horde actually is kind of outdated by now, which is sad. I would love to see Archon update it a bit more and make it more modern, because though it's still a great AI, still a really good one, but not as good as it used to be. At the end of 1.0c, the Horde used to be the single best AI, and now it's just a bit outdated. All right, man. I'm, I'm good to go, and you are. Yes. Get, get into game two. You ready? Uh, yeah, man. Let's do it. Mm. Uh, same. Just click spectate then? Yep. Just click spectate again. Okay, sweet. So, do you think Illuminati is going to pull off the upset here? Um, I would actually bet against it. <laughs> <laughs> as much as All it right. pains me to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at least you're honest. So, the creator of the Illuminati AI is here co casting with us here, guys. His name is Aleph. He's on the AI Scripters team. Again, if you're watching this on Twitch, you can type exclamation mark AI scripters for their channel. Uh, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can look at the video description. We have game two. I'm going to start with Barbarian, introduce them real quickly. We have Red Britons as flank. We have a pocket in blue Chinese. We have yellow Yachts. And then we have green 
Celts. And then for Illuminati and the teal, we have Turks. In the orange, we have Byzantines. In the purple, we have Huns. And then in the gray, we have Franks. Oh, Franks on the flank, man. That's never good. That's not good at all. And look at how close the, those, um, how close purple and gray are to the edge of the map. Yeah, you know, this can sometimes be really good because you can wall up, but I don't think these AIs no. wall like a human would, right? No, um, up until the last user patch version, use 1.4, so until a year ago about, um, it wasn't even possible for AIs to really wall. But, I mean, there was they could try to wall, but it would always have gaps and never would be good. So no AIs did it. But now with 1.5, it is actually possible to, to make really good walling. It's just a matter of when AI scripters actually get around to have the time to implement something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but so, it's possible now. And um, a few AIs do it sometimes. I think Ulysses does it sometimes. But I'm not sure if any AIs um, really have a good wall yet. But it will happen at some this, point. This might be a mistake to bring up publicly, but I'm going to bite the bullet here and just say it. Do you think making a force nothing AI would be doable for any AI scripter? Oh, yeah, definitely. If, if you it just takes the effort to script specifically for forest nothing dude i i told you before the stream that you're supposed to say no when i said that question so people wouldn't bother me about it come on now but it's gonna you are gonna have to make that ai <laughs> <laughs> oh man i'm never gonna hear the end of it now people want to train for that shit well I, right. I hope you'd never hear the end of it that's what your viewers <laughs> that's what your viewers viewers are for isn't it to remind you of all the this things is true man I'm obviously trolling. All right, um, beautiful lumber camp from from Orange. I I think it's funny how the building placement can be off sometimes. Yeah, like the lumber camps are pretty bad. I mean, Doubt would probably agree to this. They would, he would be okay with this, but any other player <laughs> would probably not be okay with it. Yeah, it's a perfect lumber camp placement is pretty much impossible for AIs. They can. Okay. At, at least they place it next to a forest most of the time. <laughs> yeah. There was a weird lumber camp last game from Orange. I believe he placed a lumber camp, but then he had six villagers on straggler trees, so the lumber camp yeah. wasn't even needed. Even Barbarian's lumber camps aren't great. Like, look at Green, for example. Yeah, it's certainly a bit better, but it almost seems to me like the Illuminati goes to the first tree on a patch of wood that's close. Because he's not gone for quite. areas that juts out, but you created the AI. I don't know. Yeah, not quite. It does try. Uh, it does, but it, you're right. It doesn't really check where there are the most close trees nearby. It just places yeah. them next to a forest. But back to the forest nothing thing. I actually believe that if an AI, if there was a good forest nothing AI, it could be any human. The reason I say that is because in a one v one forest nothing game, it's all about tree micro. And AIs, like we saw Max with this Drush in game one. Or not Max, Barbarian, sorry. <laughs> not Max, just as um, AI. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh exactly. one second. Look at look at Green. Yeah. Green's TC actually killed one of the Illuminati scouts there. Oh, wow. No, two of them. There's two scout corpses next to Green's TC. <laughs> Do you oh see that? Oh, my God. Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when I was you'd play a team game with your friends and you'd find an enemy and you'd signal where the TC was mm -hmm. and then two of your enemies run directly into the TC. <laughs> I wonder if something similar happened here where Illuminati uh, communicated and said, hey, this is where green is. And then the other AIs wanted to check it out and ran right into the TC. No, fire. I think they just all chose the same path to run around the map. And that, yeah, that path led yeah, them straight nice. through the through the TC. And barbarian, barbarian will take every chance to BM you. It will also just garrison its business into the TC, TC to shoot down the scout that's just passing by, minding its own business. Dead. Yep. Well, remember we saw the Drush last game from Barbarian. Actually, We're seeing Drush again. And oh, man at arms. Where from the Goths, I believe. From Green, yeah. From Green Celts. Oh, from the Celts, actually. Actually, good micro from Illuminati there. He does have a weak vill. Now, are is Barbarian aware of when there's a weak vill? Um, it might Seems be. Seems like Teal is, because Teal put the weak vill on the farm, which is what a pro would do. Um, no, Illuminati is not aware. Um, I mean, it might be. It's it's not using low vills for Borlios, for example, but it yeah, okay. doesn't just uh, doesn't put them oh, on. Oh god! Oh man, it's losing so many vills just to those men down. <laughs> Yeah, Teal's having some problems. But yeah, it's least. it's definitely possible for AIs to um, to do notice things like that and to act accordingly. It just takes a lot of micro scripting. 
Okay. And speaking of BM, well, speaking of BM, actually both of these AIs are capable of stealing boars. Both of them are. But yeah. I don't think they do it in 4v4. I think they only do it in 1v1s. I'm not sure though. In 1v1 they do it to me all the time. On Hardest especially. They will immediately steal your boar. Hardest is actually quite a difficult challenge. I was watching VH, uh, a pro player that a lot of people know from Brazil, practice versus Barbarian, and he said, wow, this is actually a good warm-up. <laughs> he said, this is really good. Um, so if someone like VH says that, the guy who lames himself, then... <laughs> yeah, is VH still playing? He knows what he's talking about. What's that? Is VH still playing? He has been away for a month or so, but he actually returned this year, which was cool to see. Yeah. So I think he might I, be back I, re I remember him from I remember him from back in the day, and he was always really entertaining to watch. He, he always yeah, BM'd a lot. <laughs> Lame the lot. Yeah, yeah, man, lots of BM moves, lots of lames. I'll tell you what, man, I've just been looking at the flanks and Barbarian, it been destroying, just been destroying. Gray is building a tower on the wood line after losing Bills there. Yeah. Teal already got hit. It's been a strong start for Barbarian once again. Yeah, and now now Gray is going in, no, Green is going in again towards Teal and not even doesn't even care about the tower, runs around the tower. Barbarian has good enough micro to uh, walk around the tower. And just go to the back gold mine, probably. Oh, that's gonna yeah. hurt. That's gonna hurt. If I put one of these AIs on view lock, is it gonna work? I don't know. I don't oh, know. here we go. Here's the view lock of Barbarian. I have no idea. I have no idea <laughs> it's what it's working. doing. Wow. Look at the micro. It's kind of working. I mean, yeah, obviously, obviously, like from a bot's perspective, the AI isn't looking at anything. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it, it, I th guess it's only, it only switches perspective on view lock if it gives an order to a unit or something. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it is, it seems like it's moving around. Yeah, every order that it's doing, all the micro, look at that, yeah. microing archers, microing skirms, it's pretty crazy. Making me dizzy, man. <laughs> oh. Making me dizzy. It's purple already with its knights in gray space. Illuminati is really not having a good time. <laughs> yeah, well, purple, at least she's helping gray out. Um, which is good. Red is, I'm trying to look for positives here. Red is attacking again, making archers and skirms, but he, okay, he's going to be accompanied by blue. So kind of have one person in feudal one in castle on each side well, is, at the moment. Is red actually going to attack purple? No, it's going to those lumber camp from gray, I believe. Ah, uh, yeah. I hope Illuminati's knights can help out there. Let's see if Illuminati is smart enough to do that. Okay. I like how it's your AI. <laughs> You're saying, let's see if my AI is. And yeah, that's that. the thing. I haven't touched it in one and a half years, really. Yeah. So. Well, look. Yeah, there you go, yeah, man. Illuminati. Your, your work is paid off. Yeah. He's, he sees the archers. And the Good archers job. are retreating and probably going to lose a few here. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I mean, obviously not ideal for Gray to have to run away, but at least he is saved. Oh, man. Yellow. Again, once again, ignoring the flank and going straight for the pocket from Illuminati. Looks like. No, no, no. Ooh. It just went to that hill and now it's going for the Lumber Camp from. Wow, Until. he maneuvered around. Yeah. Green is here as well. The teamwork, impressive stuff. Oh man! And uh, wow. yeah, the flank oh. in both games. Have Bobby, got Bobby is trying to build a tower on Teal. It's trying to tower rush as well. What a tower rush! Yeah, I didn't know AI's tower rushed. No, uh, they can. <laughs> <laughs> With one bill, with one bill, let's see what <laughs> this bill can get it up. Oh man, I mean, he's gonna run right into Orange's knights at this rate if he continues to run forward. Are these from Orange? Yeah, these are from Orange. Yeah, that bill is probably gonna die. I hope it dies. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what you get for trying to tower rush screen. What? what? Orange, what are you doing? Oh, Illuminati has no! No, their yellow knights that Orange has to worry about. Yeah, uh, he, he was more worried about the knights, and the bill will run back. The tower's been deleted. That's funny. <laughs> At least some idle time from that villager. Yeah, but gr Gray and Steel have taken huge, huge hits. And this should snowball from here, right? Because Yellow and Blue, they've had a safe boom into Castle Age, and then the other flanks are stronger. Yeah, just looking at the villager numbers. Um, actually, yeah, Teal is, the, Teal is definitely the weakest one. It took the most damage. Yeah. Um, so Barbarian already in having an economic advantage after all the damage it did. Not quite as uh, devastating as in the first game, but still much better in fuel aggression here from Barbarian. Man, the Orange Illuminati is, is the worst teammate ever. He's not, he hasn't sent very much help here. No, he's, he just <laughs> wants to boom. <laughs> yeah, he's just booming. He's, really he's the, the worst teammate ever, that's true. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> 
And green is almost in castle age. He's going to get pikemen and crossbow, I imagine. And yellow's knights are already here. Poor teal Illuminati. He's also Turks. It's not like he can make trash. Yeah, this is yeah. not looking good for him. Oh man, now red with a large army attacking Grey. Grey is just getting up to Castle Age, but it won't get the upgrades in time before it loses all its army, sadly. So red's gonna oh, win geez. that fight. Yeah, and red hits Castle Age himself, so he's getting upgrades. And blue is sending in knights, and it, I think it's obvious that Barbarian is just a beast of an AI, man. Mm -hmm. It hasn't really even been close yet. A beast of an AI is a bit of an understatement, actually. Yeah. It's a monster. Seriously. Well, a lot of the viewers on the stream got to see Max play yesterday, and I think for many people that was probably a new experience, as now Orange is getting hit by Barbarian. And I was talking about how good Max is, and then I mentioned how he created this AI, and a lot of people were really excited to see exactly how good that AI could be. And here you have it, guys. Yep, here you have it. Just one show of dominance from Barbarian after another. How cool is it that we have a player like the Max who not only plays at a high level, but he's put so much work into an AI? Yeah. There's not many players who, who would do that. Well, actually, there's only one. There's Max. Yeah, there's only so. one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, there's not many active AI scripters anyway. Be, it's only like maybe eight people who are actively scripting yeah. AIs at the moment. So, I think maybe on the stream today, later on, I will play Barbarian in a 1v1 just to give people an idea of what it looks like <laughs> when you're playing against it. I hope we're going to get it wrecked. Um, well, I was going to say, hopefully I don't lose. I think I'm at the level now where I shouldn't lose even against Hardest, but it is not an easy game, let's put it that way. I don't know how good you are as a player, but just judging from your farm placement, probably Barbarian's going to wreck you. <laughs> oh god, he went there! I pick he up went there, hey man. I, I've never even watched your stream or your YouTube videos, but I pick up on the memes if you mention them, alright? <laughs> yeah, I mentioned the farms, and uh, I can appreciate an appreciator of memes, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Alright, well, Orange is paying the price oh, for helping his ally earlier. So many now knights. Blue's actually yeah. crossing the entire map just to, atta just to attack Orange there to punish him. <laughs> he's sending monks forward. Look at Purple. Oh, Purple's man. like, we're behind. We gotta go. We gotta go. And, and he's Blue, sending cavalry. Blue is so strong. Blue was ahead of everyone else in the economy in the entire game. Now Blue is already up to Imperial Age. It must yeah. have had a really good start as the Chinese. And it still has so look. It has such a strong economy, strongest economy of any. It is the fastest to imperial age, and it has a mass of knights. Yep, and trading and building a castle will need to help red. I think red's taking some losses versus purple now, but he's holding. He's he's stabilizing uh, a bit. Purple actually going for cavalry archers. Yeah, as you expect from a hun. Good move and knights, but not many. It's just not enough to kill red. Red is the weakest player on his team right now, and he's holding. Oh wait, I just oh. jinxed him. Oh, yeah, no. that was a bad, that was bad micro, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, first misplay. One misplay from Barbarian. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna see that often. It's like when you watch, it's like when you watch you know, the top 10 in the world, they do something like that and everyone freaks out. Yeah. You're so <laughs> used to them being perfect at all times. Scorpions from the Green Barbarian and Monks, he's getting oh, conversions yeah. here. From, from Kells, obviously Kells should always go for Scorpions. Scorpions are really good for AIs as well, because um, you don't... AIs usually scatter their units all over the place in the late game, unlike humans who always have their units grouped up, right? So if, if Scorpions actually work better if they're spread out. Yeah. That's why um, Scorpions actually are a bit better for AIs than they are for humans. So Kells, Kells, Kelt AIs with Scorpions are always really scary. Well, poor Teal, he's on six pop. <laughs> what does he have for units? Um, six lumberjacks somewhere. I what's your? Oh, they're right there. This is his whole whole base now. Okay, that's all he has. Oh yeah. I don't think Green even cares anymore. He doesn't have enough stone to build to rebuild a TC, and it's not gathering stone. Oh, he's asking uh -huh. for stone so he can build a TC. <laughs> yeah, he's asking for stone. I don't think anyone's gonna. Yeah, that's amazing. I wonder if someone will send him stone. No, so no one, no one, no one will send him anything because Illuminatis are stingy. <laughs> <laughs> Illuminatis are stingy. That's great. <laughs> that's great. They're greedy AIs. Well, we've seen that actually. You say that, but I. We've seen that because yeah. Orange didn't help earlier <laughs> on. So, Man. yeah, it should really. That's hilarious. It should really uh, mine stone for itself. It has a stone mining camp right there. It's just not using it. 
That's yeah. something I, I gotta hopefully fix for next version. Well, I have seen so there's a YouTube video I have, and it was a five it was five barbarians versus three tyrants. It was Doubt, Tato, and Viper. Mm-hmm. And they lost two times in a row to Ooh. it. And then I think the one I uploaded was one where they was did it, decently. Was it hard or hardest? They chose hardest. Well, three, or it might have been hard, I forget. 3v5 on hardest is really unfair. Well, well. anyway, so um, there was an instance. It was a very long game. And I highly recommend people watch it. But there was an instance where one of the barbarians was in Teal's position and needed stone. Mm -hmm. And barbarians slung him resources yep. to get back into the game. So... Barbarian, if they ever get beaten to the point where they're in this situation, they would sling yeah. immediately. Many good AIs actually do that. Even Illuminati tries to do it, but it usually Illuminati usually decides that it needs the resources more itself than, than it. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, is this Illuminati? You said you don't play much, but is this Illuminati, Illuminati AI playing how you would play in that situation? Oh, one hundred percent. Okay, okay, good to know. At least you're honest about it, man. And yellow is now. He has Huskarls, he has Halberdiers, and now he's going to purple. So they're just going the whole way around the base and cleaning up Illuminati now. It's really only purple left. Purple has 160 pop left. All the others are down below 50. Yeah. So as soon as purple is getting cleaned up here, they should all resign. Yeah. Well, we have an emote here on Twitch, another meme, and we say, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And Gray, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Wait, where does Vils go? Which... Oh, he's farming now. <laughs> okay. He's farming, okay. I freaked out. I thought he was going to lose his bills. Well, Orange is repairing his monastery. Uh... Want to make sure your monastery's on fire. <laughs> Why is he doing that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, Orange is at five population himself. Yeah. And Purple's about to get wrecked. Should be game over any minute now. Yeah, I think so. But even though it's a steamroll, this has been really fun to watch. It's so yeah, yeah. I hope you, so unique, so I hope, different. I hope your viewers are learning a lot of things about AIs and AI scriptings here. Yeah. And I definitely do encourage your viewers to ask questions. And yeah, and that's fine, you know, and um, maybe now is the time, since Purple won't GG out, yeah. if people have questions, I can relay them to you. Yeah, that would I don't know if you have my chat up or what. And I usually have my own chat up, and I could check Yeah, that's fine. Well. Fair enough. You don't have to. I can relay it. Ryu K says, I have a question for the co-caster. How do the scripters test the AIs? Playing games like now, or do they test in specific situations? No, he says, how do they test specific situations and how do they force them? Okay. In testing AIs? Yeah. Well, that's really just, that's, that's a really tough process. AI scripting, the testing of AIs takes so much time because you've got to test the same, uh, the same map, the same settings over and over again until you get the results that you're looking for. Yeah. It takes a lot of time, and there's no easier way to do it, sadly. But one thing that helps is there's a program called Cheat Engine, which you should never use in multiplayer, obviously. <laughs> but <laughs> it, it, it has a speed hack, speed hack setting that lets you speed up the game a bit, so the game runs faster, so it doesn't take as much time to test. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. So you don't have to wait for the whole game yeah. to play out. Uh, and just a reminder for those watching... I know that the Barbarian is steamrolling the Illuminati AI, but the Illuminati made it to the final mm -hmm. of this tournament versus other AI. I actually, so. ha I actually have a viewer asking in my chat. La I heard last, no, what's the, how is Illuminati even in the final if, if it has the, that yeah, team exactly. skill? <laughs> see, see, people think that Illuminati is a bad AI, no, Illuminati, is, Illuminati one of the, is one of the very one best, of the best yeah. AIs. <laughs> it's just that Barbarian AI is so far ahead of everyone exactly. else. Exactly, Barbarian is just uh, much better. Close. Well, Illuminati is actually, now, Illuminati is actually um, stronger in team games than it is in 1v1s. But yeah. actually, uh, have something that often happens with Illuminati. Both of the Illuminati flanks die, the pockets don't help them out, and then the pockets, <laughs> then the pockets end up winning the game 2v4. That, th yeah. that happened, for example, in Illuminati versus Tribal in the first game, in the semi-final. <laughs> so versus another AI, yeah. it ended up going 2 before. That's funny. Well, I, it's not really surprising because in both of these games, the flanks have died. It's just that the pockets have not been strong enough uh, to ever come back. Because, Illumin uh, because Barbarian is just way too good. It would never let that happen. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to answer, or sorry, ask a few more questions because Twitch chat sent in a few my way. PNG Electricity says T90... Are there any machine learning with these AIs, or at least the potential of AI machine learning? Could this be a feature in the future? 
he's asking that to you. <laughs> Actually, no electricity. He's an AI scripter. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He says four. He says T ninety four LF. What? So he says it's for you. Oh, it's for me. No, and um, there's no. Maybe he wants. Maybe he wants. Maybe he does. Why is it? Why isn't he in my chat, man? What What are you doing? Electricity? <laughs> Come on. Hey, man. Um. Yeah. Um. No, there's not nothing like that. There are some people that are working on an API for Age of Empires. So that something like yes. that would be possible, but until now we don't have anything like that. The first step towards that would be an API, so that other programs can read information directly from the game. Okay. Good question. I'm I'm a little bit scared. You know, sooner or later these these lumberjacks from the game are going to show up in our backyard, chopping our trees and farming in our in our lawn, and mm -hmm. who knows where this will go. I mean, Barbarian if, is if the, already good enough. If the Max just keeps scripting, keeps improving his AI, then at some point, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if he could have Barbarian competing against top players. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, let's look through the kills again for that game. Barbarian had 250 kills. Oh, blue. Uh, there was one person, Red. He had a negative KD. Yeah, it that, wasn't awful. That, was, that was the top flank, I believe. Yeah, but blue, that was the top flank because I blue guess blue was, showed up. Blue was the pocket right behind red, so it didn't matter at all. Oh, and, and you know what? In red's defense, blue did go to the other side, right. if you remember. It did, um, so blue, yeah. yeah, barbarian, the blue barbarian didn't really care about the red barbarian, and red barbarian was still fine. And blue completely dominated on all fronts. Yeah. Crazy, man. So... These have been quick videos. I think I am splitting these up separately for YouTube. So again, YouTube, if you're seeing this in the future, uh, we are going to upload another Barbarian versus Illuminati match. The next match is going to be on a different map, though, yep. I think, right? The Hold next on. one is a 3v3 on Woodland. Okay, I am not too familiar with that map, so that'll be fun to see. And again, YouTube, if you want to see the AI Scripters channels, you can look in the video description of this video. Um, yeah, and... Uh, Woodland is, well, I don't know who made the map or where it came from, but um, it's a pretty standard map. It's very similar to, uh, to to Arabia. It's flat, it has standard resources, it's pretty open, and just has four big patches of forest around the middle. So nothing too crazy. Okay. Well, um, I think it might just be a good idea to... To go along to the next game is yeah. it cool with you if i just give a shout out to a couple people in my stream i don't want to be weird just do it man just do it all right uh, lord of the air 94 runaway movie 535 thank you guys for the prime subs biddies and tears thank you for the prime sub uh, thank you guys for stopping by today again i recommend you guys check out the ai scripters channel uh he's lf is currently streaming this on the ai scripters channel and there's also youtube as well uh, but yeah, thank you for the more the four month resub, he said, had no idea Barbarian AI is Finnish. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I put the Finland flag up there because Max created it, and then I put the German flag for Illuminati because Aleph created it. Uh, it was either that or we get the Mr. Destructoid Twitch emo up there. <laughs> that, that would be fitting, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but again, um, I'm cool with people linking it, but the best way to get all their channels is just type exclamation mark AI scripter. As Wait, AI, AI scripters. 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 In the yes. plural, yes. Yep. They had, you guys had 69 subscribers on YouTube before mm -hmm. this. I'll be interested to see how many you get. Yeah, after I'm going to check out weeks. after the stream. <laughs> yeah, a few weeks after the stream, after everyone, everyone has had time to watch your YouTube videos. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to. All right, man. Well, let's, I guess. This is the best of five. Barbarian could win the whole series right yeah, here. It's already 2-0 for Barbarian. The next game <laughs> will be a 3v3 on Woodland. And this game, uh, here the AIs can pick their civilizations. Or what I should say is the creators of the AIs had the opportunity, opportunity before the tournament started to um, determine which civilizations should be used in pick games. I okay. did that for Illuminati. So Illuminati will use Aztecs, Mayans and Celts here. Meanwhile, Barbarian will play with random civilizations because the Max did not care about picking civs. It want, the Max wanted to show dominance by playing random. That's great. Well, we're going to have to mention that again once we get in. Let me click spectate here. Uh, that is funny. So again, guys, Max, he had the opportunity to choose civs, but he said, nah, I would just do random. But he, was, my, he, my, wasn't, uh... he wasn't the only one who didn't pick civs. Other AI's oh, fair enough. Too. Okay. 
Fair enough. Well, I think based off the first two games, Barbarian will still be favored regardless of Civs. Yep, I believe so as well. <laughs> yeah. T90 official, you're just being rude to your guest at this point. What? I mean, I'm being rude to you as well, so all, <laughs> like, all even. <laughs> I, normally, I just let those comments fly, but what have I done that could be considered rude? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, don't, I, I honestly I don't know. Joke. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. No worries. It happens. Yeah, learn to take a joke, T90. Come on. Making him repeat all of this. Yes, it's so bad for him yes, to repeat that is things true. That is true. people. Just put... We don't want people who just came to the stream to hear what's going on. That would be an awful, awful idea. Just put everything on YouTube, man. It's so much yeah. easier. All right. Yeah. Ready for the game? Yeah, let's do it, man. 3v3 Woodland coming up. So we have the picked sieves for Illuminati in purple as the pocket we see the Celts and the flanks in yellow Aztecs and in teal Mayans. These Illuminati, I picked those three sieves for Illuminati in this round. Meanwhile, Barbarian okay. will play with random sieves being also the Celts in the flank and a Mongol in the pocket and on the other flank in green the Turks. That's pretty solid sieves for random. Yeah, not bad. You know, to get to get Mongols, Celts, uh, that's pretty solid for Barbarian. Yeah, just the Turks, random. just the Turks in the flank will not be as good. Yeah, especially versus Aztecs. Aztecs can be pretty mm. strong versus Turks as well. So, um, obviously, any thought process you had going into the Civ selection, or just yeah. felt like these would be strong Civs? These are usually some of the strongest Civs for Illuminati, and I do like that the the. In 4v4s, the fourth sieve I would pick would be Teutons, because Teutons are Illuminati's best pocket sieve. But, really? Yeah, it has a really, it's really good with Knights and Paladins. But um, okay. just in the 3v3, I am not going to put the Teutons in, because they're not as good in the flanks. Meanwhile, As yep. Aztecs and Mayans are obviously overpowered, so always put them in. <laughs> <laughs> and Celts are, yeah. Celts are also extremely good. They got good eco economy bonuses in, in the feudal age, so you can even keep up on if they're in the flank. But in the pocket is where I really want my Celts as well. Because well, it's just a late game. Like I already said last game, Mass Scorpions is amazing for AIs. Yeah, man. And I would say you have your ideal position. Now, you couldn't yeah. choose positions, right? Uh, if, I had, if I could choose them, then these would be the positions I would choose. Yeah. 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 So you just got a, a bit fortunate, I guess. And that might mean Illuminati has a chance here. It definitely has the Civ advantage, even if it's just a slight one, because Barbarian has good Civs as well. But yeah. let's see. I'm still pretty confident that Barbarian can more than make up for it with they just being better. Uh, you just got to believe in your AI, man. Just got to believe. Nah. I believe this will be the day that Illuminati will, will upset Barbarian. I believe. Okay, how much do you want to bet? <laughs> no, put your no, money where your mouth is man <laughs> i was just trying to be positive i don't want to put money on the line for nah, this come on boring. you know where my money's gonna be <laughs> all right so um you see the activity from the red scout on the right hand side this will definitely be easier to follow he's scouting out teal's base uh very open for green. Green has the worst sieve here. Oh, yeah. And he has the worst map. Look at how far away the forest is. Yeah. Does it, yeah this does, is not it just, nothing, it's just, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's desert nothing. <laughs> it just it, <laughs> Look at that lumber camp, how far away that is. That is so exposed. Yellow can just hit that. The gold, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the gold right next to it. If, if green... Do your AIs... Um, Drush mainly? Did they go no. at arms? How how would they play mesosivs on yeah. the flank? No, they play mesosivs. They just um, do a flush with archers and skirmishers. Okay, archers and skirmishers. That makes sense. Keep in mind, guys, this is AOC balance, so they can't actually make eagles in feudal age. What well, can they? Uh, can they make eagles in feudal age in WK? Yeah, they can now. See, that's it's that's how old I am. I, I don't even know anything about. <laughs> I don't know anything about the new expansions. <laughs> just just wait till you see barbarian on the. The new balance. There is a barbarian for the new balance, yeah. and there it's probably even better with mesosivs. What are what are um, eagle warriors like in feudal age? Well, they're quite weak until you get scale barding on them, and the problem is they take a long time to train. So yeah, okay. So they're kind of uh, kind of like scouts, just cheaper. Well, 
it's it's cold heavy right and they're yeah. not as mobile as scouts so it's a bit risky to make a lot of them but once they get masked you could the beautiful thing is it's like archers how you make a bunch of feudal archers and then you immediately quick click the upgrades in castle and get a power spike yep Oh, right. So you would so get like the that. power spike with eagles. So you already time, have. That's why in AOC yeah. you never saw eagles because you never yeah. get momentum. With exactly numbers. because you, you couldn't. Yeah, you need. You had to. You had to make archers and feudal range and upgrade them. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. So that's why it was always archers I get it. before. Okay, like we already pointed out, greens, green slumber camp and gold mining camp there, very exposed left of its base, and if it doesn't build a tower there, then that could be an easy point of of attack for yellow. Quick question for you. T90 says, can you please ask him to talk more about the API idea for AOE? Can uh, you tell us a little bit about that? Or do you want to wait until after the game finishes? I don't even, know, any, I don't even know anything. After. I don't even know anything about that, man. Fair enough. I'm not an expert on programming. I I um I heard about it as well. I think that people are just discussing it, and I don't really know if there's enough to really discuss right now, Cape Man, publicly. There is but um, if I if I learn anything more, I can bring it up. There to is in our AI scripters Discord, there is a user whose name is Abducted Platypus, and he's working on that. So if you have any questions, yes, you could yes, yes. you could join our Discord and ask him. Okay. Maybe he can Yo, tell Mr. you. Yo, Mr. Frisbee, uh, that was me, Mr. Frisbee. I thought I did like. 10 minutes or the, the 30 seconds option. So my bad, man. That was that was just, I clicked the wrong option, I guess. <laughs> so what do we have here? Back to the game. This is fast speed, man. So we got yeah. to gotta keep the action rolling, right? So as I said, uh, Illuminati, both flanks are going for two archery ranges and archers and skirmishers. Meanwhile, um, Green is actually building a tower, but it's uh, kind of oof. not in the best spot. Illuminati can oof. still hit that lumber camp easy. Yeah, and I think we talked about this privately about how AIs just don't really know where to place yeah. towers. It's uh, hard. It's definitely that's difficult. not something that they've put. You said it's probably possible, but it'd be mm. one of the more difficult things for I AIs mean, to figure out. Um, the problem is like that's something that takes a lot of thinking to get your right tower place, and it takes intelligence, real intelligence. And the one thing, yeah. the one thing an AI will never have is a brain. Well, at least not in the near future. Not in the near future. Not in the near future. I was gonna say, be careful. Barbarian will find you and kill you. <laughs> oh, it can come and try. <laughs> well, um, well, the green barbarian's oh. kind of struggling here. There's all, he's being overrun. Yeah, look at look at yellow. Yeah, I don't think yellow scouted that lumber camp. Let me actually check if it scouted that. No, he didn't. He didn't scout the lumber oh, camp. Oh, that is unfortunate for yellow because if it had scouted that lumber camp, that would be much easier to attack. Oh God, he's running into the TC yeah, right, yeah. and the tower fire. Right now, it's just using its units to the TC. At least it's causing some idle time, but I don't think it's worth it for Illuminati. It's really unfortunate that it didn't scout that lumber camp. Yeah. Good tower from Illuminati on the other side, man. I mean, so far Illuminati's playing pretty good. Definitely much better than the 4v4 games. Well, it has the better serves. <laughs> yeah, it could be it. Um, Red is pushing around with some archers now. See if he finds the lumber camp. I believe he scouted all of this. Yeah, look at the scouting from Red. So he knows it's there. And the Illuminati has not reacted to this. And this no. is maybe where the Illuminati is a bit weak. It has some uh, skirmishes in there, though. So it, and it has the upgrades as well. So it should be easily able to defend itself. Ah, yeah. You're right. Full upgrades. So good job. Dude, I'm rooting for Illuminati. All right. Illuminati let's, let's, let's see if we can get the upset here. Oh, look at yellow. Yellow has now found the lumber camps. Now, wow. now green is now green could be in trouble. The problem is yellow already lost so many units to the TC, and now green's army is coming. And um, the Illuminati's micro isn't perfect. It's just trying to go towards the lumber camp. Yeah. And not really focusing and on the fighting. Barbie's micro seems yeah. to be better when one unit's being attacked. It always moves and repositions. But Illuminati uh, still however, seems to be winning. However, it's a lot of from yellow. Yeah, Illuminati still yeah, winning the fight. Just the skirms. So yeah, Illuminati actually coming out on top. Oh, but now the blue knights are coming. Perfect timing. Here. Oh boy. Now it's oh, game over. Oh boy, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. This is fine. Oh geez. These knights coming in out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. uh, what's purple up to? Purple is sending his own knights yeah. to that side though. Yeah, he is. But yeah, also is the there communication green. there to help? Like that's the thing. Well, is the communication do... there to help yellow or is he going after green? The, Illumina uh, the um, coordination there is to Illuminati tries to attack what the same player with multiple of its own team so okay. yellow and purple are coordinating their attacks on green is what's happening so it's not necessarily purple 
uh, helping versus blue. He just went after green, and green lost some fills because of that. Yeah, which was good. But blue, blue be also being on that side, barbarian still gonna win it because blue had more knights there. Yeah, more knights, and uh, economically, and economically, blue purple. is adding a, his third TC right now. Yeah, but purple already has three TCs, and purple has more villagers than blue. And while blue focused more knights, purple focused a bit more on its boom. On its eco, yeah. So, ah. unless Barbie pushes its advantage here, then Purple could have a stronger late game than Blue. Um, yeah, man, I, I think it's possible for Illuminati. Obviously, I don't know how this will progress as the game goes on and Barbarian is favored, but it's possible as long as Purple plays really strong. Yeah, both of the Illumi Illuminati flanks are already up to Castle Age. That's where you see the strength of the Sylphs, Aztecs, and Mayans. Yeah. Those are really good just castle edge times for the flank. Killing a lot of yellows, vills, and army right now. I'm still losing those knights. Yeah. Oh man. Blue, blue, uh, blue doesn't seem to know where to go on the right. I think the woodlands could make this awkward. Where did Red send his army? Red sent his army back home. I yeah, noticed Red home. just consistently hit Teal's tower, and he kept going back. You know that tower placement from Teal was perfect. Yeah, Illuminati actually has pretty good tower placement. That's something I'm proud of. Obviously, it's never going to be perfect, but I think Illuminati is good at it. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, the Woodline one is decent. The The Gold one was, was great. And I'm a bit on edge. This is the closest game of the day, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely... No one has an advantage yet. It's definitely a game that Illuminati could take. Especially if you get the Celtic late game rolling, man. Yeah, well, keep in mind, Barbarian oh, also Mongols. has a Celt late game. It also has a Mongol late game to counter it. And Mongols. Ooh, the, yeah. those Mangadai. If they come in, that could be a problem for the Celts. With with Barbarian's micro, yeah, that's going to be tough to stop. Yeah, especially because the Mangadai have attack bonus versus siege weapons. Oh, look at yellow, look at yellow. Green and blue attacking right now. And with, the, with that perfect micro from green. Just focus firing one villager, moving again, firing again. Yeah, immediately going after the crossbows. Oh, oh yellow's in big trouble that, now. That micro is way too good. Even the, even it though it looks like a human being. Yeah, even though yeah, even though green is still in feudal age, it's using its uh, perfect micro to make the difference. Yeah. And yellow is trying to utilize his range to give yellow credit. He's mm -hmm. shooting from distance, but green doesn't really seem to care and. Uh, this is opening up a window for blue to send in more knights yeah. and for green to send in yeah, more Yeah, the problem is yellow's um, crossbows aren't going to do much, even against feudal skirmishers. Yeah. And purple isn't helping out anymore. Purple is just fully focusing on the spoon right now, I believe. Man, this micro is pretty insane. It's it's crazy. I'm going to put this Barbie on view lock again to show you guys I guess what the Barbarian's up to. Again, you only see what the Barbarian sees. You don't actually see the clicks and actions. like. Oh, but look at Illuminati. Yellow is actually attacking. Even though Green's army is still in yellow space, Yellow is just doesn't care about it. Goes straight, oh. goes straight <laughs> for Green's Lumber Camp again. <laughs> it kills some villagers of its own. It, it knows it can't win the fight against those well uh, micro skirmishers, so it attacks villagers instead to even the playing field. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. It's working out, too. Green's deleting yeah, the TC. Yeah, had to delete the TC Foundation. Illuminati takes the score lead, bro, and look, it's on the other side. Oh, Teal's also attacking, yeah. With the Mayan... But the Scorpions are there. Oh, yeah, Kelsey. those Scorpions are really... Those are really enough. gonna help. But Illuminati has a Mangonel. Has a Mangonel there. I don't know. Two Mangonels, actually. And Barbie... Two? Barbie isn't doing much to evade them. So those... No, they're retreating, though. Because yeah, most... there's also two Rams. Everything is retreating on that side. Uh, this is a close game, yeah. man. This is gonna come down to how strong the pockets will play because blue and oh, purple pretty much. Oh, now, now the green. blue knights, the blue knights are coming. Now, it, okay, they're just defending. Where are they going? They're just defending. They were in red space. So if if okay. Teal had stayed uh, offensive there, it would have lost all of those mangonels and rams. Yeah, so it's good he left, I yeah. guess. And while purple sent a knight to pick off scorpions, look, he's killed three scorpions. Perfect. And yeah, one scorpion also died to a mangonel. <laughs> that yeah, that knight is doing mangonel. work, well, man. Okay, that's... Yeah, seriously. Yeah. And look at Yellow's crossbow microing. <laughs> that's amazing. Get out of there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's... Is he going to make so it? That's... Nah, sure. So not. once again, we see Barbarian being vulnerable, at least. Exposing its uh, siege weapons to those knights from purple, undefended. 
Yeah, this is looking Green great. is in big trouble. Man, man. Illuminati's gotta win this, I think. This is looking great. Your prediction was right. Who am I to this to, to not you. trust in my own AI? Who am I to do that? Just remember I put we bet a thousand dollars on that. <laughs> yeah, clip I hope everyone clipped that, but you refused to take it's my on bet. Twitch. I said it. Yeah, I said you it. could have easily made a thousand dollars, but you were you were too much of a pussy to take the bet. <laughs> Uh, well, let's not call it too soon. Barbarian, you're right, you're right. Blue Barbarian's making a lot of knights, man. That is man. quite a lot of knights. But Purple, on the other hand, is up to Imperial. Ooh. So, so what does he do? Does he go Halberdier, Ram, Scorpion, you think? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely Halberdier, Ram, Scorpion. What Your hotkeys are weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go to my barracks and I'm going to TCs. You could, you, could, <laughs> you could have changed them. I know, I know, I know. Well... Pikeman, obviously, Halberdier, obviously going to encounter the Knights of Blue. It's up to Blue now to transition to Mangadai. And there was a question earlier, just how good are these uh, AIs with transitioning to unique units? Or do they know when to transition? Yeah, that's that's pretty straightforward. That's one of the easier things to do, just when to make which units. That is not hard to do. So, yeah, many AIs are really good at that. Okay, good. Well, Yellow just said Strat Eagles. In the chat. Oh, so that means it's up. To that means it's up to Imperial Age. And uh, he's not actually. He's not. He's still in Castle. Well, he should be. That is a weird TC from Green, Why but Green will actually ah, defend. Maybe it's making Eagles to. Yeah, it's making Eagles because Green is making Siege mostly, so it's making those Eagles to counter the Siege. Ah, that's right. Nice. That's right. Um, Green, I believe, made ah. those uh, those uh, mangonels mainly to counter the archers from Yellow, and now Yellow is making in response Eagle Warriors to take out the mangonels. That's very good. This is a sick game, man. Now look at Teal on the other side going back over to Red. Red has lots of skirmishers and scorpions, though, so Teal might need to leave soon. Yeah. Uh, Blue is sending his knights to the left. It's just purple now. Where is he going to send his halps and his siege? Oh. He seems to He's going to green. Blue, blue is in castle and uh, imperial edge though, and it's getting the cavalier upgrade right now, and all oh, of the other wait. upgrades. So if blue's army could make the difference right here, oh, but purple has a lot of halberdiers. He does have a lot of halberdiers, but it's barbarian micro, right? Yeah, it's barbarian so micro. The Mangadai will probably micro down the halberdiers. There's only one here, and look at, look at, okay. Not the best micro, but uh, it will probably do yeah, that. In the late game, you can't really micro anymore for AIs. It's just, you see, you see that mostly in Fuel Age and Early Castle Age, the micro. In the late game, okay. just, right. the late, late game that's just turned off and let the AIs just run all over the place. I, I just have a lot of belief in these beasts, you know? I'm just, just trying to, I had belief in Illuminati. Okay, here Still we go. Do. Heavy Scorpion upgrade is in for purple. And Sea Trims and Halberdiers. So now purple has wow. its perfect late game army. Now we see the full strength of the Celtic late game. Now teal and yellow said up imp preparing eagle flood. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. we might see eagles from both flanks after their archers. That is that is Illuminati's favorite strategy with metal ships in the Imperial Age. Just pump out masses of eagles. That's, okay. They're really strong so too. A lot of melee. And they're they're, they're, they're good against melee. they're good against Mangodai too. They are good against Mangodai. Unless blue gets to like 50, 60 elite Mangodai. He does not have elite yet. He has most of the upgrades he would yeah, need. Yeah, he's still making that, Cavaliers as well. Yeah, Cavalier would be great versus the Eagles. This is a close game between the Illuminati AI and uh, the Barbarian AI. And Yellow is going for the forward market strategy, guys. Where is it building it? Oh, in front of right green, green space. Yeah, TV. that forward market is part of the trade card rush. <laughs> That'd be amazing <laughs> if you actually had a trade cart rush. I would love to see that. If I made a troll AI, I would probably put that in in an outpost <laughs> outpost rush as well. Yeah, but that's that's bad. Well, that's bad market placement. That could really make it easy for a barbarian to later on um, raid the trade route from yellow. He's not gonna trade with that, is he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> he definitely oh, is. God, no! <laughs> no! He definitely oh, is going to trade. I thought he needed a market to buy resources or something. <laughs> Why is he trading there? Oh man, market placement is so hard. I tried, I tried, I really tried to get the market placement right. <laughs> to get my eye oh. to build its market in a good spot, but it's just it's just <laughs> not working out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Barbies isn't perfect, but it's definitely safer. Yeah, but green, trade already green is so dead. Green took so much damage early on already, and now it's just getting overrun by yellow and purple. And purple is just yeah, purple is also purple is attacking everyone right now. <laughs> it's all over yeah, the map. He's sending into the red. He's sending into blue, and and blue has elite Mangadai. Yeah. Uh, can they come back now here? They have the, better trade. 
All Illuminati. All Illuminati are an Imperial Age. We have now also the Mayan Age. The Mayan Imperial Age is also extremely strong. We, we see now Elite. No, it doesn't have the Elite Eagle Warrior upgrade yet. It doesn't have the Elite Plumed Archer upgrade yet either. But as soon as it gets those upgrades, then Tear will also yeah. be a real late game powerhouse. Well, keep in mind that Red is also Kelp, so if he gets to Heavy Sword, oh, yeah. he gets to World Raider, that'd be strong for them, and they can maybe bring this back. He does have a lot of Scorpions, but not the Heavy upgrade right now. That's gonna... I can see how effective Scorpions are in AI battles. Every Everywhere I look, the Scorpions are getting hits. Yeah, they're really good. It's really nice. They are really good for AIs, which is why I love Kelp okay, so much. So, so remember last game, I said... Um, that if barbarian, if a barbarian player was near death, that someone would sling him. Mm -hmm. Well, green is near death, so if he loses his TC here, he will not have a TC left, and he might need yeah. to be slung resources to build another he one. He will probably try to rebuild, as most good AIs will. Now the TC is gone. Oh look, someone just slung him. Yeah, so he just little, got wood wow! Just, the very second yeah. that TC went down, they slung him. The second it went wow. down. <laughs> yeah, so a new TC is going up. That's amazing. Barbarian AI showing its class here. Mm -hmm. Can they come back? But it's a 3v2 right now. Illuminati definitely has a big lead. Because green is pretty much out of the game. It's going to take so long to rebuild if it does it all. Which is probably not going to... Look at the trade though for Barbie. Yeah, man. That is... That's a lot of gold incoming. Oh man, that is a really good trade route. Not perfect, but yeah. really good. Meanwhile, Illuminati... Illuminati <laughs> is all over the place. <laughs> they're all over the place. Yeah, I mean, it's that there is trade. I think yeah, we'll, we'll just say it that way. There is trade. Those trade ones, might not be great. They aren't. But it's they aren't short either. They're just all over the place. Yeah. They're, this trade well, are pretty good actually. Just a bit clustered. I think blue. I think we could see a comeback from the barbarian. It's man. definitely possible. We have elite mango die fully upgraded now. So those those Mongols are extremely strong in the late game as well. And Mongol Rams, they're going Ooh, for the market. They go <laughs> I think. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're going for Yellow's market. <laughs> Jesus. That's amazing. Well, that's a blessing in disguise for Yellow. Yeah, you know? kind of. That's a blessing in disguise. But they're also the, tra the trade work cards are also running through there. They're getting picked off. And now the Mango Dice are attacking villagers as well. <laughs> Yellow needs more army oh, here to defend. Green is... Uh... He's trying to rebuild TCs, guys. He's the 12th population. How's Red doing? I mean, Blue is definitely holding this on his own right yeah, now. Yeah, Blue is... And Teal hasn't pushed in. Red could push Teal. The Barbarian pockets are always just so strong. Yeah. This has been a fun game. Yeah. This is by far the best game. That's for sure. The other two there... In the other two games, Barbarian just got too much of an advantage in the late game. and yeah. In the early game, I mean. With its bet well, better micro. It, it helped it. It definitely helped that Green had a bad sieve yeah, and a bad map. Definitely did. And uh, I think that when I see some of the top human players play, I prefer to see them play with disadvantages from the start. Mm -hmm. That way we can see a closer game. Yeah. It's a bit of a handicap to it make the game more even. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Onager now for red. Yeah, and it has also a bunch of heavy scorpions there on the right side. But um, Teal is attacking from both sides. <laughs> yeah, they're they're... They're both fighting on both sides. Yeah. I do feel like Celts are just getting stronger and stronger yeah, in Kels, right position, though. Celts, well, and it's still under pressure. How many villagers? It does have 130 civilian population, so it, its economy hasn't been hurt, Red. So yeah, it, yeah. it could get also just just as strong as as purple is. So how how rare would it be to see comeback in this situation? Because it does seem like it's possible, but they're not humans. It, it depends on the AIs. It's definitely hard to come back versus Illuminati. If anyone can come back versus Illuminati, it's Barbarian, right? But... Oh man, that is quite a way to sell it for the viewers. <laughs> this guy should become a commentator. <laughs> I am a commentator, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I meant. You know what I meant. <laughs> Yellow's... Okay, so let's give Yellow Illuminati credit. He's top scorer. He's made a market in this, this corner here. So it's a oh, much better Oh, finally market. a good market placement. Yeah, that's good. That is really good. That's much better. So it, I guess he's just trading for multiple markets and they weren't next to each other. Yeah, that's possible. Um, but what I, was, but what I was talking about, about comebacks, there are other AIs which are weak on the late game, like Tribal, for example, or Juggernaut. They are much stronger in the early game, but not as strong, uh, the, not as strong in the late game. So against those AIs, I've heard that against those AIs, it's easier to come back. But against AIs like Illuminati or Promi, it's not easy to come back because they have really good late games. But I think Barbarian, gonna die. Barbarian is the only one who can make it happen. I think Yellow's going to die. It's possible. He is two castles on the front. 
they're about to get ramped yeah, down. Yeah, Rams, those Rams. He, Mongol he's Rams. He's only at 130 population. So many Manga dice there. Red's pushing back as well on the right side. Wow, don't tell me Bobby's gonna pull it off. That would be insane. Oh my god. It, and blue is all over the middle as well, picking off Illuminati villagers with one single Manga die. Would be something special, man. Yeah. I don't think Yellow has the rest to, to fight this. I don't think I've ever seen an AI come back in the in the two v three against Illuminati. So, Barbarian, yeah. only really Barbarian can pull that up. No other AI could do that. But Barbarian is doing it. Look at look at yeah. Yellow already lost its first castle. Now it's lost. Ooh, but most... purple, purple shows up. Purple does yeah, help. Yeah, purple helps. No, most of these manga dice are gone now. Yellow only really lost yeah. one castle. That not too bad. That market Look, in the you're front. red on the other side, man. This is crazy. Oh man, red on the so other side. so many siege weapons. There's so many scorpions. Some traps as well to back them up. Yeah, red is making a good push. That has to heal as well for, for scorpions, and also going for yeah, both redders. Illuminati flanks are really feeling the heat right now. Yeah, they are. Both sides. Man, this game could take. It could even go on for a while. Yeah, I feel like the, the big problem for Illuminati is actually the market thing, man, because, well, it's not necessarily the markets, it's the trade numbers, because there's healthier trade and better trade for the opposing team, the barbarian team. Yeah, I'm not so, I think it looks about the same, honestly. Oh, yeah. Uh, is it? Well, Let's see, trade. I don't know. Well, 43 for, for red and blue, yeah. which is a lot more than anyone true, on true, the true. Illuminati team has. Illuminati has less trade. That is but true. you gotta keep in mind, if Yellow can get gold somehow, he has the, the Aztec Eagles, yeah. and same with Teal. I think Teal will struggle more versus Red than he is right now, but maybe Yellow can push back and put Blue under pressure with the Eagle Warriors. Oh, Teal just lost its first castle. That that push from Red is so strong. Like All those all the Scorpions are bunched up in that choke point. Oh my god, yeah. That choke point is really what's making the difference there for Red. I think if it was, if it was more open on that side of the map, then it would have been easier for Teal. Yeah, they, they really need purple on this side, right? I think yeah. that the Kelp player is too busy dealing with blue in the center, but purple needs to help Teal out. Yellow, he kind of stabilized, but now purple, or sorry, Teal is going to die next. And all this all, all the while, green is slowly rebuilding. It's already back up to 57 population. Wow, he's trade booming as well. He's oh he's he's receiving resources from the other yeah, barbarians. It's getting it's getting slung, <laughs> Bobby helping its out its teammates. <laughs> That's so impressive, man. It's so impressive. And yeah, Teal will lose another castle now and he's only at one hundred and ten yeah. population. Yeah, the, both Teal and Yellow took a big hit from those pushes, first from blue and now from red. And red is just yeah. steadily pushing in. It started like just in front of its base, and it has in the last and half an hour or so, it has only moved about 20 tiles, but it's making slow and steady progress. Yeah. Impressive stuff, man. And I don't know if Mayans... Well, I'm, I'm fairly certain that Mayans can't push this back. Oh, man, now Blue is coming here as well. Now Teal is in big trouble, with Blue and Red both doubling it. Seems like it could be over, man. Yeah. And Seems like it could be over. Yellow? Blue is holding purple in the center. Yellow lost all of its and army. sending the majority of his forces over to help Red, and Teal's going to die. He's at 70 pop. There's no way back here. No. Yeah, Teal's going to die. Damn, Bobby is making wow. it happen. The comeback is real, boys. Oh, my God. What a game here, man. And this is all before Green actually comes back and fights. Yeah, Green. If he were to go with... With gunpowder, of course, Turks be green, very strong. Green now has more population than Teal does. Yeah, 90 population <sighs> for him. Teal is down to oh, 59. Man. And he's going to lose all of his buildings to these Rams. Yeah, it's... Man, Bobby actually pulled it off. It's too, That's it's, crazy. It's way too strong. <laughs> what, am, what am I going to do against Barbarian? Yeah, poor... I, I feel bad, but at the same time, you probably can't help but be impressed. Yeah, like, I definitely you know are. That, you're probably proud of your AI to even get to this point in a game, I sure right? Fuck I am. This is Illuminati's first grand final, actually. Ah, so it, Illuminati made it to the final for the first yeah. time ever in AI tournament. The last two tournaments, it made it always finished third place. Yeah. Well, look at the micro yeah. from these Mangadai. Destroying Man, everything on the mega. left. And then red is unrivaled on the right. Loading up the... the Woad Raiders into the Rams for extra speed. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. That's amazing. Oh, Seed wow. Yeah. <laughs> Man, infantry in the Rams. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do believe... All these small things. Barbarian did definitely did get lucky with its random civilizations. 
having Mongols and they did, and Celts yeah, there. Having Mongols. If it had if it had lesser civilizations and for those two, then I don't think it could have pulled off this comeback. But if it had something like Japanese, no, no chance. But it's all fair play because Illuminati picked its civilizations. Yeah, that that's true. So, yeah, Celts having Celts and Mongols is a pretty big deal. It is. And I think it's just a matter of time now, yeah. right? Purple. I think Bobby's winning. He's even down to 130 pop. Yeah, teal is, teal is done. Purple is under attack. Yellow is under attack as well. Final push for Barbarian. Damn. Crazy, man. Barbarian is so Crazy. impressive. It blows my mind every game. I know. It's so fun to see this. Well, I'm glad I didn't bet $1,000. <laughs> you did, though. You did, though. The chat clipped it. <laughs> Nah, there's no clips. Chat doesn't know how to clip things on Twitch. Come on. Clips can be faked. Come on. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news. Really shows you the strength of this barbarian AI. And yellow's wow. asking for resources. Yeah. Teal's asking for resources. But purple is and purple's gonna die. Under pressure itself, yeah. Now, in the previous two games, one of the Illuminati players said G instead of GG. Will we get another salty G here? Maybe. It might. <laughs> they were so close to victory. I think maybe they will be a bit upset. I think usually they say G if they are literally down to zero population. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. If they resign before that, then they're not quite as BM. Man, we need to make a, a fat dragon AI where if you steal his boar, he says, "I know pig," <laughs> and. Uh, uh, I am the dragon when he kills a bunch of units, that would be funny. Definitely some reference I don't get here. <laughs> yeah, it's a pro player who's really popular right now. What? When did he start becoming a pro player? I've never even heard the name. Uh, he's played for the last two years, man. He's, he's one of the best. His name's Vivi, he's from China. Oh, it's Vivi. And, uh, yeah, his, I know Vivi. Yeah, one of, yeah his account, one of his account names is the Fat Dragon. Ah, and all I right. like to all right. meme around with that. Okay, Illuminati's are resigning. Luck. It's only purple. Let's and... see what purple does. Well, he hasn't resigned yet. Well, he's gonna resign any second now. Three, two, one. <laughs> he says rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying. It's trying. Food, please. Wood, please. New TC. New town center place. Deleting old buildings. And critical bug. <laughs> no. <laughs> it tried. It tr tried to rebuild, but obviously it can't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. G Can you explain that? Is there ever a situation where they would delete their old buildings and rebuild yeah, somewhere? Yeah, um, if um, if it uh, loses its original town, its original TC, and uh, it tries to rebuild at the back of an ally's base. So it sends its uh, remaining villagers ah. to build, it, to build uh, their new TC um, in behind the town of an ally, and then it builds its new town around there. And it uh, tries to delete the old, um, the old gathering sites, so the villagers don't walk there anymore. Okay. That's the idea behind Interesting. it. Interesting. So, um, Barbarian wins the tournament final. This was called Masters of AI Two. Indeed. Is that what it was called? Masters of AI right. Two. And it, um, Barbarian obviously also won the first Masters of AI, I believe. I mean, it's been quite a while. I don't think it was around back then. But okay. this time, Barbarian is the deserved winner. And we have Illuminati finishing in second place, and the third place decider was already played. Promi won that one 3 0 versus Tribal. So Promi is the third place in this tournament, and Tribal the fourth place. And this concludes right. the entire tournament. But obviously, we have many more AI tournaments to go. For example, um, I started the tournament just last night. It's called Fan Crazy Thing 8. It's the eighth iteration of that tournament. And okay. um, it is it is played on a very special map that's called Fan Crazy. And I hope we can stream some games of uh, at least one match of that right now. If you... Well, it's not like we have to schedule with these AIs yeah. and say, hey, show up exactly. at this time. Exactly. We can then, just like, put, we just put them it. in the game and they will play. They're bots. They don't have opinions. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have opinions. Well, hold on a second. Yeah. I have, a, I, I have a organized a quick interview with the uh, the winner of this event. <laughs> give, me one, give me one second Do it. <laughs> Bar barbarian is here i just got to get him onto the voice call you won't be able to hear it lf but i think i will your stream he's on a private call with me will your stream hear it okay that was dumb i went to youtube and googled robot sound effects <laughs> would have been too easy all right, that's a little bit too spooky, man. 
<laughs> That's a little bit too spooky. It's like I'm in a horror movie there. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, Barbarian is a pretty vicious character, obviously. Mm-hmm. <laughs>